Form Next 2022 in quite possibly the most extreme way I've seen to test a material. I'm here at EOS with my friend Sebastian. Hi, nice hey, to man. meet you. Good to meet Good you. To be here. This is cool, and I would imagine you've had a lot of people hitting this today. Yeah, of course. This is our soft material. So it's a TPU 1301. And here we are at the Digital Foam Challenge. So basically the idea is not really new. So it's a traditional game from the Oktoberfest, for example. <laughs> but what is really unique is that we added some 3D printed parts. Okay. And not only soft TPU parts, we also have here a 3D printed hammer. With May I? Yeah. You would like have this? Oh, wow. This is all 3D printed. Everything is 3D printed. Oh my gosh, it looks great too. This is awesome, huh? So this is a TPU material. This is TPU material, so this is also very soft, so you can see it when you're oh, right going there. Oh, that is soft. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and also, it depends on the design. You can also dip the, uh, adapt the properties and yeah, also the okay. material of the application. If you make it softer or harder, then you can adapt the, the thread thickness, for example, or the, the unit cell, and so you can adapt the properties. Uh, well, this is, a, this is a really interesting application of the, of the, the material and the properties yeah. it has because for this, coming down on this over and over and over again, this material has to be soft in order to absorb the impact, yeah. but not too soft and not too hard. And so this TPU specifically is built well for this application. Yeah, absolutely. And also talking a little bit about the handles. The handle is also 3D printed. That's a polymer part printed with our P7. So this is the largest printer that we have in polymer. And this was printed in, in one in part? In one piece. Also with a nice structure. Um, here for coloring, you used airbrush that we has a fancy design and it yeah, does look nice. A, also it feels good. It yeah. feels good in the hand. It's a really, it's a really nice texture. You would like to swing the hammer. I, I really would. Okay, then Can let's we do, do this? It. Yeah, sure. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, then have fun and swing okay. the hammer. So let's see. Oh, it was awesome. Are you ready for the score list? Yeah, let's see do you it. Think you're on the top three? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. 88 wasn't. Okay, let's check it. Yeah! 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 Good job. Right. Sebastian, that was amazing. Awesome job. Let's have a look on real applications where we can demonstrate also um, the materials in real applications. Perfect. So take me to it. Yeah, let's go there. So, are you interested in hockey? Oh, ice hockey, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have here a collaboration with the company Bauer. And Jan, you tested in the hammer game, the TPU, how soft the material is. Yeah, that's and right. And we have here these soft structures. Oh. Individualized in this hockey helmet. May I? Yeah. Thank Good. you. Oh, so the same soft structures that I was whacking with a hammer actually are used as padding in an ice hockey helmet. Yeah, right. That's cool. Yeah. I bet that I bet that comes in really handy because you can customize the feel of the helmet and uh, the protection that it offers. Yeah, right. This is the idea behind this application. And yeah, this is only one example where we use the TPU or a TPE in, an, yeah, in this kind of application to okay. protect the, well, the head of an ice hockey player. That's really cool. Let's talk another application. You saw the <laughs> The hammer head, it was a lightweight design, That's and this right. is a part from aerospace. What is very important at aerospace that we save weight. Oh, right, absolutely. Yeah. And if you keep this, it is really weight. Oh, that's, wait. Light. That's really light. Yeah. Like, I, I was expecting it to be kind of light. And here you see, here between the two blades, there's a, a structure to save the, yeah, the weight, also to get a very light part. Ah, uh, so that, that helps with rigidity. Yeah, right. But it's super lightweight. Yeah. And here we have another material, so, this is a great example of how big our uh, portfolio in metal, metal, uh, metal materials we have. So we at the hammer, we had an aluminum. This is titanium. That's also the reason oh. why it's so really light. That's right. Titanium is a lightweight yeah. metal when not very thick. Yeah. Oh, this is, oh yeah, and it's super rigid. Yeah. Wow. So let's talk about the next one. So the handle was um, PA12, or right. our material PA2200. Uh, and so that's your version yeah, of that's PA12. Our okay. Version, yeah, right? And so we have the connection from this material to real applications are this exciting interior from a car. So <laughs> it you does can feel see like it. a car interior part yeah, though. Right. So this you can see this or feel and see the structure and what is possible. Uh, well that's really cool. This is a great real world example. I mean, I know building a hammer and a thing I can hit. It's fun and it's playful, but there are real world applications for the materials that we just right. used. And you thought you can break the hammer or the handle, but it's 
I, I was worried. Not impossible, but it's possible, but it's very hard because yeah, yeah, with this kind of examples for interior design, so we have very stiff and yeah, nice looking parts. So normally, a part like this, we are talking about someone that might. In the, in the old days, or uh, traditionally would be injection molded out of a, mm -hmm. an ABS material, yeah. I would guess. But now, being able to use your PA2200, then is it, it's, it's faster, it's able to be customized easier, and they don't have to have tool and die, they, this yeah, is a better really solution. I'm thinking about also about the aftermarket, spare parts. Oh. So at the end yeah. of the life cycle, so then it's a good option to use, yeah, maybe 3D printing to get the parts or to have the parts if something break at the car. I like that. Well, 3D printing is always a great option. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sebastian, this has been a lot of fun. I got to see some really practical uses for the material, although I got to admit, hitting that thing with that 3D printed hammer was probably some of the most fun I've had. People are going to be really interested in this. And they're right there. Could you look at that camera and kind of tell them where to go to find out more information? Yeah, sure. Visit us at our homepage, www.us.info. Um, or you visit our uh, YouTube channel, or you can also connect us via Twitter. There, there's a lot of um, opportunities, so I'm looking forward to have discussions with you about your applications. And yeah, thank you very much for the great chat with this you. Was, this was a bunch it of fun, awesome. man. I'll put some links down in the description so you, uh, you can just go down there and click. Sebastian, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Have a good rest of Form Next, man. Thank you.